Appleton that we did that we I that now we didn't even talk about this, Tom. You have got to be kidding me. Two of my diecast homies. First up is Donald Pennington from DNV Diecast Customs. And from my good friend Tom Brown over at Michigan M I C H Diecast Tom Brown. Check them both out. Great guys in the diecast community sent me some packages and I cannot wait to open them up and share what is inside with each and every one of you. So stay tuned, stick around. We'll be back and see what's in the box. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Live or Die Cast. And we got a special one for you today. And down to the mailbox and I got a special package from Donald over at B&B Diecast customs and I got a package from Tom Brown now I'm pretty stoked about what's in these boxes and I already happen to know what's in these boxes but I cannot wait to open these boxes and show you guys and get these in my hand um, I want to show off my channel sticker. Pretty cool. Finally got one of those. I was pretty excited about that. And I did get quite a few of those uh, in envelopes and put in the mailbox today shipped out. So some of the diecast homies around the, the community would will be getting those in the mail and hey, do whatever you want with them. Throw them in the trash, put them on your toolbox, do whatever. Um, but just wanted to send those out and uh, you know represent live or die cast. So um, I did a little poll uh, today. Let me close this window. I did a little poll today, and uh, I was you know I was gonna do my mail call you know like this, see my face, but most people said that they like doing it from point of view. So the camera turned around to the point of view. So that's how we're gonna do this. I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, my Jeep there. My for wheel swap Wednesday this week. That was pretty sick. Um, I think that turned out super cool. And so I know in this box there is a King uh, or no, yeah, King of the Five Seven Three Ladder Wars Challenger. And I know Donald from from D and uh, Diecast and Customs. He built this car. There's a whole build video on it. So. I highly suggest each and every single one of you go over to DNV Diecast Customs. Check out his channel. Check out the build on this car. Awesome build. I can't wait to open it up and actually see it and hold it. And um, I know that uh, Tom was going to send me one thing, and it feels like there's more than that in here. So that's going to be kind of a surprise that you all will get to see. But I'm going to tell you guys something. You're going to want to stick around. For what is in this box because I know what one of these things in this box is and I cannot I absolutely cannot wait to get my hands on it so let's get the camera turned around let me get another drink of my sweet tea I'm a Midwest boy so you know I gotta have my sweet tea and uh, let's get this camera turned around and let's check these packages out I hope you all like what's inside and uh, let's get to it all right everybody we're back so let's get into it. I'm excited. I'd like to give a shout out to Sticker Mule for my wonderful stickers and give a shout out to Andre Cruz for giving me the, the $10 off code. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you. And that also kind of gave me a push to get my own stickers. So much appreciated. 
and I hope the, the people that I've sent those out to enjoy them, and I plan to send some more out as well. So let's get into this mail call. This is from Donald over at D and V Diecast Customs. I don't know if it's Diecast and Customs or Diecast Customs. I think it's I'll put it, I'll put it in the screen. You'll see it, but please go check him out and check out the build on what is inside this box. Thanks to my Boker blade here. That was no problem at all. And let's open this up and see what is inside. What do we got here? All right. So it says, I see Let's Race right here. Here's a note. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now Donald's Challenger is, is in here. But first, we're going to read this letter. It says, Live or Diecast. Hey Brandon, hope all is going good your way. This is my entry for Ladder Wars. Donald at DNV Customs. Let's race. That's right. Let's go. Let's race, my man. I appreciate you interacting with the channel, commenting on my videos, watching the Live or Die cast, Ladder Wars, King of the 573. Much appreciated. I appreciate you interacting, sending in the car for the races. Let's get to it. Let's get inside and see what is in this package. Now, I happen to know what is in this package because I watched the build on this car and I didn't. So when I found out, you told me that that was the car that was coming here. I didn't know that when I watched the build on this car. So that's. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. You all ready? That's right. It's that Pontiac Firebird. That's right. There it is. Look at the color. Look at that beautiful, beautiful paint job. The detailing on the engine. But look at the paint. That color is absolutely beautiful. Now, my grandpa, JC, this was his absolute favorite color. You got color. You got the details on the rear. You got the taillights done on the rear. Interior is chrome. Got the engine details. It looks like it's glued together, which is, which is totally cool with me. Seems like it's got some decent wheel spin to it. Doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Um, but I really, really, really like the color. And, you know, it, I, I'm not complaining about this, but just a tip. I used to use glue to glue mine back together before I started drilling and tapping. And the one thing that I was disappointed with most after most builds was the hazing that that glue causes. Now I can take a rag and some cleaner and kind of wipe that off. And as you can see, some of it's come off already just by me wiping with my rubber glove. But that was one of the things it, I didn't really have any issues with the cars coming apart. I just didn't like the way it looked when the glue hazed up on it, but I never did have any issues with it coming apart. So this being a race car, Hey, that's perfect. It's gonna. This thing looks like it's gonna fly down the track. It looks like it's going fast, sitting still, and it is. This color is absolutely beautiful. My grandpa had a suburban that was that was. I mean, almost identical to this. It had the flake in it and everything. I can't remember what year it was. It was. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. It had a stick shift. It was a stick shift transmission, and I remember he took that out of it and put an automatic in it, but it was beautiful color green. All right. Well, what do you think? Are you ready to hit the track? He says he's ready to hit the track. He's ready for Ladder Wars. Let's race. There it is. You see it. Donald signed it. There's his entry. Let's get it on the track. I'll put it in 
I'm going to put it in line with the other ones. We've got a lineup of other channels uh, interacting with my channel, Live or Diecast. It's awesome. The racing is fun. Stay tuned every Sunday for King of the 573 Ladder Wars. That's right. Let's go. Let's race. Donald, I can't thank you enough, my man. And you told me that I could keep this and put it in my collection, and I will definitely put it on the display with my other customs that I have gotten from all of my channel supporters and all the people who have sent me stuff in the mail. Much appreciated, my friend. Unbelievable. Again, if if you would, go give him go give him a shout out. Tell him Dirty Murray from Missouri sent you over. It's DNV Customs. That's right. Go check him out. I'll put his channel banner right here. Again, Donald, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Good luck on the track. I wish you all the luck. I hope you built a fast car because you are definitely going to need it, my friend. The ladder is fast. All right, so thank you so much. I much appreciate that. And like I said, good luck. Good luck on the track. Next up, we have got a package from Michigan M-I-C-H, I'll put his channel banner right, right here. Be sure and go check out Tom Brown. I don't know if he has any videos up. He should. I wish he would put some videos up. So, Tom, hey, put up some videos. No, no pressure. But seriously, though, if you want to put up some videos, go for that. That'd be awesome. Be cool to chat with you and see what you're up to and see what you find. And I know you find some cool stuff because... You have sent me something very cool in this box. And you guys are going to freak out when you see this. So I'm going to give you a little backstory on this this uh, this package right here. Tom contacted me. Um, he was looking for some cars. Now, Tom and I have interacted in the past. He's gotten a hold of me, needed some cars. I've ended up being able to find them for him, send them to him. You know, I don't charge him anything extra. I just charge him the cost of the car and the shipping and and he pays me, and and that and that's fine with me. That's what I like doing. I like helping people out. So, we've done that a couple of times, maybe once or twice. I can't remember, but I know we've done it at least once. And Tom is a great guy. He's a great channel supporter. I know you see him all over in the community, all over in the community of Diecast, other channels. Um, he contacted me again and asked me to look for a couple of cars for him which I totally said I would, no problem. And he ended up finding those cars before I did. And he contacted me and he said, hey, um, he offered me a trade. And he said, if you find those two cars, I'll trade you this for those two cars. And I said, dude, no problem. Yes, absolutely. So I hunted for them. I looked for them. You know, never could come across them. One day he contacted me and he said, hey, Brandon, did you find those cars yet? And I said, no, but I've been looking hard. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, I ran into them today and I picked them up so I don't need them anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and send that car to you anyways for your efforts. Now you can imagine how that made me feel. Um, I was beside myself. I couldn't believe it. I was, I was kind of stunned. You know, I've, I've, uh, you know, I've, this, I mean, this is my grail in this box. This is 2022 Holy Grail for Live or Die Cast. I mean, what is in this box is what I've been searching, what I would be searching for the hardest all year. And you all know I'm a huge Honda fan, right? I got a Honda on my sticker. I drive a Honda. And there's chances are there's probably a Honda in this box. Well, my Honda is currently in the shop with a leaking head gasket and so I'm getting that fixed and I was kind of down and bummed about that and I, so I went down to the mailbox today and this was in it and I was like oh my gosh it made my whole day um, so hopefully I'll have my car back Monday and I'll be back in business but I haven't been able to do any hunting you know I've been without my car two or three days and now it's the weekend I'm gonna be until Monday without it so all the the red editions F and GK stuff is starting to drop around here and I don't have a car I can't get out all of the the sets that he was looking for initially are dropping. I can't get out. You know, it's miles. You know, to walk. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't really feel like it. I'm, you know, I'm not that into it. I guess you could say. But um, so it's it's kind of a it's kind of funny how all this worked out. But anyways, 
Let's get in here. Y'all are tired of hearing me talk. Let's get in here and see what's in this box. Now, I will say this. I hope that whatever he did put in here, he put it in a protector because this box, when I got it, was soaking wet. And you can see here where it was, it was wet and like pushed down, you know, when I got it. So hopefully nothing in here was damaged. I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, but let's open it up. Let's see what's in this box. Tom, again, man, I thank you so much. Your generosity, um, it just it speaks, you know, volume about yourself. It really does. And for you to give this to me. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to send Tom something in return, whether he wants it or not. He will be expecting a package from me. And as a matter of fact, I already have most of it together, and I'm still waiting waiting on some of it. Um, but I hope to get that sent out to him in a couple of weeks, and it is... It's going to be a really nice package because I really appreciate what he has sent me in here. So, let's see what is in here. All right, it says, Brandon, here's the one you wanted. I threw in an extra and a race challenger. Yes, I'm so glad you sent a challenger. Sweet. Keep up the great videos. Tom, that means the world to me that you that you think my videos are great. Much appreciated. Um, I try to, you know, get better with each one of these. It's still a learning process for me. I'm not perfect. I don't have all the fancy equipment, and you know that. Um, but you're right. This is the one that I wanted, and I'm so glad you threw in a race challenger, man. That's awesome. So I got two race challengers in this mail call. That's exciting. All right, Tom, much appreciate the letter. That will go with all of my other ones. Now let's open this bad. Now I already see something that we did that we, I that. Now we didn't even talk about this, Tom. You have got to be kidding me. Tom. Tom, seriously? Like, I am completely blown away right now. Like, wow. Unbelievable. You guys, check this out. Unbelievable. The 1972 Skyline 2000 GTR HT. Unbelievable. Wow. This is my first club Redline Club exclusive that I have in my collection. I cannot believe this right now, Tom. I'm in shock, man. This box is was already fire, and, <laughs> and now it just exploded. I mean, boom. Can you guys believe that? Look at the freaking... Look at this thing. Wow. I got to see. I got to try to get this out of the way. I mean, the glare on this camera is horrible. Wow, Tom, I'm beside myself. I mean, I'm I'm shocked. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm a super, I'm a super guy, okay? You know that. But I'm going to tell you what, the paint job and the detail on this is, it's, not, it, it's way above a super, you guys. I don't know if you all have ever actually held a Redline Club exclusive in your hands before. This is the first time I've ever held a Redline Club exclusive. Um, it's got the pin, the Mattel Hot Wheels pin right there. I'm absolutely, I am absolutely uh, beside myself. I'm speechless. I almost, I don't know what to say. I can't thank you enough, Tom. Now, I already know what what is left in this box. And you guys, I can't believe that he sent this to me, Tom. I can't thank you enough, man. I don't know what I what I did to deserve this from you. But, uh, wow, RLC 2022 2000 GTR, unbelievable. You know I'm a JDM guy. This Skyline is absolutely beautiful, you guys. It's got the four-spoke chrome wheels with the red line tires. The blue, I, I, I mean, the paint is just unbelievable. And my camera, I know it's not doing it justice. And when I get, I will probably get this thing turned around. And give another view of it. But I'm, I'm unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at this. I mean, 
Wow. <sighs> Tom, thank you, my friend. And I hope you like what I send your way. I really do. I hope it's I hope it's special and it means something to you. Now, is this the racer? Boom. Race Challenger. King of the 573, Ladder Wars, Race Challenger. Now, this thing's metal base, metal body. It is a convertible. Has an opening. Opening hood. Smoked glass. Now, this thing's got a little weight to it. White interior. It's got the classic five spokes front and rear on all four corners. It's got the number four gumball on the side, the Hot Wheels logo on the rear quarter panel, a beautiful silver metallic with a blue livery. This thing is nice, and I have a feeling this thing is going to be a beast on the track, you guys. So stick around. Stay tuned. That's two challengers. He will be going in line up back behind Donald from D&V Diecast Customs. There you go. There you have it. Wow. The race challenger sweet i'm so glad you sent a challenger tom i really am that's awesome this thing right here you guys i i just i mean i'm i'm beside myself tom i really am i'm gonna take a minute i'm gonna admire this um this next one coming up i'm gonna give you all a little preview a little history of the car itself uh, i took my driver's test in a 1979 Honda Civic two-door. It was a manual transmission, no power steering, and I passed the first time. It was green. I'll post a picture here. You can check it out. But I'm a huge Honda fan. This skyline has blown me away, you guys. I don't even know what to say. So I hope you enjoy this little clip, and we'll be back. Stay tuned. So I hope you enjoyed that little video about the little Hondas. So some of you may already have guessed what is in here. Well, let's just see what is in here. This is my 2022. Holy, holy grail right there check that beauty out the 1999 honda civic type r ek9 in a beautiful beautiful gold paint job red interior the bronze brown gold goldish six spokes Look at the metallic in that paint. Wow, Tom. I'm, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm holding this right now. There it is, you guys. 2022 F Case Super Treasure Hunt. The 1999 Honda Civic Type R. 
EK9. Look at that beauty, would you? Look at that beauty. You got the details, the tail lights are done, the license plate, you can see the red Honda symbol in the middle of the hatch. You see the TH symbol on the rear deck lid, the Hot Wheels logo above it are done. The tampos are there. You got the real rider six spokes. Unbelievable. Talk about a fire mail call. I mean, does it get any better than that? Let me take it out of this protector. Let me take it out of this protector. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Would you look at that? Look at the TH on the rear deck lid. Boom. The Super Duper Treasure Hunt 2022. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have this. I had to take it off camera so I could look at it myself and just admire this be beautiful casting. 164. I can't imagine finding this on the pegs. Unbelievable. Part of the Ryu, Ryu, Ryu Asada rides. There it is. I finally have it in the collection. I don't even know what to say, Tom. I cannot thank you enough. Um, I will send you a care package in the mail, so be expecting one in the next couple of weeks if everything works out. I, I'm beside myself. Uh, this mail call, um, I've got, you know, I got two, I got two new challengers going to Ladder Wars King of the 573. And I am able to add two absolutely beautiful castings to my collection uh, because of you, Mr. Tom Brown. And I, I just can't thank you enough. Unbelievable. You got the Honda Civic Type R Super Treasure Hunt. You got the Skyline. This is my very, very first RLC Red Line exclusive. The, the Red Line Club exclusive, 1972. Skyline HT 2000 GTR. Look at the, I mean, the paint on this thing. Let me take it out of the package. I am so stoked to have that in the collection. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable, Tom. Made my whole month, man. My whole year, really, of 2022. That's the super right there that that I wanted the most this year. And to, to think that I actually have it. So... I'm cracking this RLC. This is the first time first time I've ever actually held one of these. And I want to see if I can just kind of show you all. I mean, look at the paint on that casting. You got the beautiful chrome four spokes, the red line tires, the real riders, of course, metal base. The RLC 22 on the license plates, the rear tail light details are done even the chrome around the red you got the mirrors on the the front fenders see the details up front rlc 22 wow got the gtr emblem on the front grill 2022 club car unbelievable i can't believe that i have one of these in my collection this is the first one that i that i get to Add to my collection, Tom. Thank you so much. I just, I, like I said, I can't. I'm, I'm beside myself. I don't even know what to say other than just thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity. Thanks for supporting everybody in the Diecast community. Thanks for support, supporting Live or Diecast. Commenting on my videos, interacting with my channel. Much appreciated. And I am just, I'm beside myself. That I, there it is. I've got it. I finally got it in the collection. My cars, you know, broke down in the shop. F cases are dropping around here. Or at least I think they're getting ready to. And I'm I'm not able to go hunt them. And guess what? Because of Tom Brown, I don't have to. I've already got the one that I want. So, but no, I probably will, you know, when I get my car back, I will definitely be hunting again. And I do hope to find one on the pegs. I can't I can't imagine the feeling, but this thing is just beautiful. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Tom, 
like I said, I just I'm I'm just I'm speechless. And uh, here's this candy painted Firebird. I'm gonna show it off. You got the rear tail light details done. The green candy paint. Look at the sparkle on that. And that is thanks to Donald over at D and V Diecast Customs. Ladder Wars Challenger. And we can't forget Tom Brown's Ladder War Challenger. The 65 Mustang convertible on the chrome five spokes. White interior, metal on metal. This thing should be a rocket on the track. All right, well, that's it. I'm <clears throat> I'm speechless. I'm beside myself. I want to thank two great members of the diecast community for sending me this stuff in the mail. Uh, your all's generosity is greatly appreciated. And as always, I, appreci every, I appreciate everybody interacting with the channel, commenting on my videos. Until next time, this has been Live or Diecast, and I'm out. Peace.